Okay, so here we have a spreadsheet which shows me the Valentine's Day card sales per class. So just imagine the whole school was uh, selling cards to raise money for some event or another on Valentine's Day. And here I have a record of each grade and each class and the number of cards sold per class. Now, I want to be able to use a subtotal function to see how many cards each grade sold in total and that's what the subtotal function is going to let me do step one first select the data that we're going to work with that's the easiest thing select the data that you're going to work with and go to data and sort let us first sort this according to the grade so I'm not going to sort by class I'm sorting by grade sort by grade sort on cell values smallest to largest so let's see what that does click OK done from grade 8 all the way down through to grade 12 that's the first most important thing to do when you are doing a subtotal first sort the table or your data according to what it is you're going to be doing your subtotal on right next I'm just gonna select this all again so you can see I'm just working with this content now back in the data tab go to subtotal click on subtotal and it's actually pretty easy let's see what we're going to do at each change in and let's see what options we have grade class or number of cards sold you can see these are my headings here so every time the data changes according to grade that's the one we're going to do then I want you to do the following use the following function I can choose some count average max min product and there's a whole bunch more over there we're going to do some because we're going to add up how many cards each grade is sold so at every change in grade each time as we're going down our list when there's a new grade I want you to then use the sum function and what am I going to add the subtotal to where am I going to see the subtotal I'm going to put it over there number of cards sold I'm not going to do by grade or class I actually want to add the number of cards that have been sold let's have a look at what this does click OK OK now you can see that certain groupings have been made for me and I can see I've got a grade 8 group here and I have a total over there a grade 9 total over there and a grade 10 etc if you want to sort of condense this a bit so it's easier to see the results right away look at these options up here one two and three option number one condenses everything that gives you the grand total option number two gives us the grade eights nines tens elevens and twelve totals and option number three expands everything so you can see all the data so option number two obviously makes sense for us in this case and here you can see because I've used the subtotal function I can see right away the grade eights 777 grade nines 945 it's so on and so forth and that's what the subtotal does